Hello, you Path experts. Today, we will see about the a new project called a ticketing tool, IP ticketing tool. So, what is this IP ticketing tool in UiPath Bots DNA.com? Okay. If you navigate to the bots DNA.com, you can see there is a new project called IP ticketing tool. In this video, we will discuss about the requirement of the IP ticketing tool. So what we have to do, what you have to do using the uh, a robot. So what is a manual process they are doing? Okay. Just imagine there is a team, there is a team dedicatedly allocated for this IP ticketing process. Every day they will get the IP ticketing request. See here, here the ticket number is there, and this is the ticket information requested by this person. And when he requested, I think yesterday, yesterday on that time, okay, There's the day before yesterday, right? So there is some date is there. So when they requested, and what is the ticket number? Who requested? Three informations we can get from this list, okay? These are all the requests we got. What that actually the IT person will do, the support person will do, the daily, he has to monitor the new IP emails, okay? This is all the IP email, okay? Mm -hmm. How to, let me create a one folder here. Uh, maybe let us create a folder called um, support, IT support, so within this, so they will load the file. So here, uh, once it is open, so uh, support in the support they are downloading the file. Okay. If you see the ticket number four two six one, the same zip file it is downloaded. Okay, four two six one. So the next step. So I, I'm just explaining for one record what they will do or one request. Okay, you can mention the like a one transaction item. Okay, so here. Uh, we'll unzip this one, okay. Once they unzip, it will go to the text file. There is a text file. This text file contains the body of the an email, so maybe the request information. So, this support team, please provide the information of IP information for the following IP addresses. So, here, if it observe, so there is a so he, uh, which version requested, requested by. Viran Janayalu on 29th April, this is the ticket number. He is requesting the IP information of these four IP addresses. Okay. So what we have to do? So we have to prepare the information by just navigating to the uh, uh, network and location. Because so imagine this is only available for the support team, that the dedicated support team, not for the, all the employees. If the Viran Janayalu having the access to the this tool, so he can directly go to the this tool and get the information instead of requesting, right? So, because of the security reasons, some uh, okay, so confidential information, so they are uh, 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 not providing all the information to the, all the people. So, what they will do, this tool is only allowed uh, the people who are accessing. So, who, who will access? The support team will access, okay? So, the people who need the request, they just uh, send a mail to this team so that the team will provide um, the information. Let us go to this one. We have to prepare uh, four sets of data. So IP address. So what type of information we have to set? Just click on this. This is how we have to send. Uh, let us prepare. So don't uh, do this one. So I'm just preparing in that another notepad. The output which we have to provide for the Viranjana Yellow. Okay. Here we Viranjana Yellow. Basically, we have to copy uh, the name from the this tool, the full name. Here Viranjana Yellow. Okay. And uh, here, comma. And what is the next thing? So please find the below information here so please find below information of ips which you requested under ticket numbers what is, what is the ticket number for this year on this is a ticket number okay this is a ticket number you have to copy from there 
pick number this one okay that's what uh, they are expecting so after that there is a, you, you can see the sets right so now which ip we are just using we are just getting the ip information of ip colon this one okay what are the informations we need for this ip the first one is owner this one is provider no provider next one is uh, asn next one is city next is like a postal code country tree so coordinates right the same thing should be repeated for the all, all. like so the remaining ip next ip okay next ip like a same thing repeated for all like that like that what has to prepare the human has to prepare for this ip and they will send a, a message to the uh, requested person so that's what uh, people will do so here we will get this information so owner let's go to this and uh, network it's a network see few details here the owner is there the owner is there's ip owner that is ip owner provider is there asn is there so just search here okay this ip i'm just using the control f in the chrome control f find here oh uh, control f find here is the owner name so okay this is the owner name copy uh, the paste here it's not copying properly copy and paste here okay and provider is a uh, this this is a provider and uh, what is the asn number okay so asn number is this one so right now the humans uh, the team is doing but now you have to you are creating the robot to just um, help the team okay what is the next information like a city these things are all coming from the location so the same ip just copy the same ip so two, half information is coming from the network page and half information is coming from the the other page like a location okay this is a city and this is a postal code and india india and then this is a coordinate so so okay this information is done okay so like that so you have to provide the details in the same same way for these all ips so all the sets so once you get all the set what is the next step we have to do so next step we have to uh take that um, person name and go to the chart basically go to the chart and pick here the person name okay once you get the person name so just click on this one so automatically the number will available basically this is a email in 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 phone number you can send this is a like a, so you can send a message of the resulted uh, response for the for the request so suppose for example um, this is a response just copy paste sorry this press this response you have to copy entire things so once you collect all the things all the information for the registered ip just is here okay and click on submit okay once you see them your message was sent successfully then you can go back to the next ip address so that means one record is done okay that is a work so what is i'm, I'm repeating the say, uh, what we have to do for the single record the robot has to pick the each and every record from the request from the ticket page and get the ticket number get the employee name who requested and download the uh, zip file zip the file and within that there is a text file just to get the what are the number of ips so they have to get information for each ip they have to prepare the separate set of information like a who feels like a owner provider as and is coming from the network and uh, the remaining fields like a ip address city postal code country coordinates is coming from the location once they arrange the data for all the ip so it in short it has to go to the people finder and search the name here and just get the information and click on the send so if you don't find provide the 
phone number. So if you select the, any person, so the phone number will be available. Okay. So this is a tool. So where you want to, you, you can send uh, an SMS to them, uh, the response and SMS. Okay. So while you are sending the information, suppose for example, if there is error, okay, there is error. Just as you imagine, so if it's a success, there's no problem. For example, uh, if it's a fail to send, okay, sometimes it is a fail to send. So what the robot has to do, or actually human has to do, human will uh, retry basically. Okay, so he retry the same thing. So in the same way. We also have to retry. The robot has to retry the information if uh, if you are not getting the uh, a proper uh, successful message. Like a, what I'm saying is, uh, if see this is a there was a network issue. Sometimes what happens so is a network issue will come. Okay, while you are sending the SMS, the network will fail. So it will throw the this type of red mark SMS, right? A error. So there was a network error. Okay, so in that case, what you have to do? So you have to do the same thing. Same, same person just select and just type the information and just just clicking on submit. So you have to fix. So if it's a success, no need to retry. If it's a failure, you have to retry. Just check about the business exceptions kind of thing. Okay. Thank you very much. That is a requirement. So here is a, a sample template how to form the your message while sending the thing. Thank you very much. Bye bye.